Thanks. Never win 77 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Quake. Yes, back with more. We have for our last left off, we finished uh, the first of the expansion campaigns that we brought here, the Scourge of Armagon, and uh, we're left with a pretty nice epic boss battle at the end that was uh, pretty cool and fun that I had a lot of fun with. And so with that out of the way, we're going to continue on to our next of the expansions, the, Deluce, the Dissolution of Eternity. Yes, another epic sounding name. Uh, so let's just go ahead and dive right into it uh, and get ourselves started. Yes, back in, back into it once again, folks, getting into this uh, area. It looks like, uh, yeah, it's just our skill levels that we'll choose. There will be go through it. this hole for easy, this one for medium, or normal rather, and this one for hard. Uh, it is especially made evident by the very little lava there. And, uh, oh damn, I just realized it actually uh, kind of pushes you off of the uh, thing there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're not picking hard difficulty then now, aren't we? if it's going to be like that. So, it's okay. I wasn't uh, planning on doing uh, this next campaign here. Especially going into it blind on hard anyways. So, let's just go ahead and pick our normal, usual uh, choice for difficulty. The normal selection. So, we'll go ahead and pick that portal. And, uh, ooh, it looks like this the campaign here is episodic as well. We got ourselves at least two episodes to go through here. Hell's Fortress and the Corridors of Time. Ah, very interesting. Well, I guess it only makes sense for us to go ahead and do the first episode of Hell's Fortress. So let's go up these stairs and get ourselves started. All right, I'm pretty excited for this one, guys. So hopefully, let's uh, be sure to kick a lot of ass and take a lot of names and yeah, going guns blazing. So here we go in their first level of the of the episodes, the Deviant's Domain. And I can already been, uh, got ourselves greeted with a couple of Black Knights here. Very nice. Well, so far, the level design is very brown in color textures here, I've noticed, so far. With all these brown stone walls and bricks here, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, I will say, not uh, very imposing, but uh, I guess uh, it is a start, either way. So, we go and eliminate those guys, and go in this building here. You gotta be careful when fighting these black knights whenever you don't let them want to let them get too close to me. Is, uh, especially since I only only got a shotgun to start off with. But oh, what's this? Looks like we got we're gonna have even more new weapons uh, introduced to us in this campaign here. Nice. It looks like a lot of new weapons too. Oh yeah, excellent. Well, can't wait to try them all out. As they uh, also seem to have, uh, yeah, their unique set of ammo as well, which is uh, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, only in due time for us to check those out. For now, it's just a good old regular shotgun and choppy chop axe just to take down our enemies. I will say, this is a pretty interesting level design we've got so far. It's these catwalks going up here, and it's uh, more of these. Uh, more of these flying enemies going on about as well. I think we might be able to, yep, we should be able to grab you, which is pretty nice. Get ourselves some really starting ammunition for some of our other, other guns. It's always very welcoming. But uh, anyways, let's continue up through here. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, only looking forward to seeing what uh, we have in store for us in this expansion campaign here. Possibly some new monsters as well as some new weapons, and I think that was just a, a new monster up there. Actually, it seems to be a newer variant of the uh, 
of the ogre enemy there that seems to shoot out a kind of uh, cluster bomb with their grenades. Pretty cool, actually. I only uh, wait to see what other nice, uh, or I guess not so nice surprises that they have waiting for us. You can see that you have a nail gun trap here. We can go with this switch. And hopefully it'll open that gate up for us, and yep, it sure did, as well as giving us a new weapon, finally. Yes, the nail gun. Hell yeah. Killed some enemies. Killed themselves a new black knight. But also these uh, traps that I've noticed with these uh, very deadly looking stakes that go down, so be sure not to get crushed by those, as that will not end very well. It's not very be very pleasant at all. Now I see we got ourselves uh, what looks like a gate with a cool looking drawbridge design as well as an acid boat. Yes, well it doesn't look like there's anything we can do here for now. I assume there's going to be a, a switch or something for us to hit. Well, I guess we're only going to find out. And uh, oh, looks like these things don't kill me instantly, which is good. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really know how these these kind of traps that can go and uh, very painfully squash you to the ground, uh, not instantly kill you. But uh, okay then. I guess it's just better not to complain about it. But anyways, we got ourselves a key already. I see up there, up in that catwalk there. So it's just uh, figure out a way to get to it. Yeah, figure out the way. Hello, Ogre Smoker. How you doing, man? And uh, oh, we see another Ogre Smoker down here. Make sure to kill him off. Kill him off quickly. Kill him off quickly and swiftly. But not painlessly. No, we want it to be as painful as possible. But uh, no, it's not. Uh, something tells me with uh, our basic weapons that we have, we can't really make our enemies go out in very painful ways. Which is a bit sad, I will say, but oh well. At least we got ourselves the silver key. Yes, the first key of the campaign here. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go see what door is needed for this key. And, uh, oh, we got some lava nails. Okay, that's interesting. That must be the name of the new ammo types that we got. Let's just go ahead and switch to our nail gun here. And, oh, damn, even our, our nail gun has a cool look, new look to it as well. That's pretty neat, actually. Well, let's go ahead and see what these lava nails, just what they're about here. I assume they do more damage. They do seem to have a new cool aesthetic look to them as well, with like cool, like, sort of red hot glowing nails to shoot at your enemies. Well, let's go ahead and use it now. And, uh,. Well, it seemed to be pretty cool, as in doing a lot of damage at it, but uh, I also kind of like this section here. This is like a uh, cool looking boat just uh, taking us on this little trip here along this acid, which is uh, pretty nice. I do appreciate the assistance boats, thank you very much. But uh, also, let's go ahead and ruin, these, ruin some more of these monsters day, yes, <laughs> a bloody day in the night, what, well, whatever, we'll try and kill as many of them as we can, first be sure to get some ammo, and I would prefer to not fall in this pool of acid here, yes, let's just try and stay on the boat here, and not die, oh god, oh shit, they're raining down hell on me now, oh god, no, 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 get away, Go in here. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys. Oh, crap. Oh, they're sitting the knights after me. Yeah, alright, alright. Kind of forgot these elite black knights can shoot projectiles at you as well. I think we got ourselves a secret switch here, which is pretty good. We only, only wonder what that opened exactly, but uh, I guess we got more important things to worry about right now, like trying to stay alive. It's go ahead and use some more of these cool lava nails. Hopefully make our work with dealing with these monsters a little bit easier. 
But you know what? I think we should probably save right here, just in case. Save up our game. And game saved. Very good. Okay. Ooh, I like that uh, cool little uh, way on how that door opened. Those bars there. You see that? Oh, that was pretty neat. Pretty neat if I do say so myself, but I really do wonder where that secret is. Yes. I hit that. Oh, is that it? Over here. Looks like we got ourselves a new power-up introduced here. The power shield, or lava shield, in fact. Whatever that says. It's uh, pretty interesting. Don't know what that does exactly, but I guess that's for only for us to find out soon enough. So yeah, let's just keep on pressing forward here with some more of these knights. Oh shit. Oh good, nope. Out of the way, out of the way here. Yes. Oh, looks like they were gonna fight each other for a second there, but uh, nope, too late. <laughs> Okay, keep on going through here. We'll kill you. Get some more of the health, the smell, as well as eliminate you. Doesn't look like they got. Uh, doesn't look like they got um, too many new things um, with the monsters here. So far, just those extra uh, ogre schmogers. But, uh, I'd imagine we'll start seeing some more movies. Anyways, we so got the drawbridge trigger. Yes! I knew there was a switch somewhere that we had to activate to get that, uh, lower downed. And alas, there was. So, let's go ahead and head to that drawbridge now. We've got a lot of knights coming after us. Just more meat for our lava nails to use. And, uh, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I saw that little notification up there telling us that we ran out of that type of app. That's pretty cool actually. But looks like that's the end of this level. Pretty good introduction level here if I do say so myself. Now we move on to the next level, the Dread Portal. Alright, well let's see what, what new stuff they have in store as well. So, oh, oh, it's just... Well, so far it wasn't a very nice pleasant surprise, that was it? Oh, I actually like that, uh, that little, uh, that little thing that happened there with that, uh, floor lowering and unleashing this fiend monster to come after me. That was, uh, pretty clever how they did that, actually. As well as putting these knights up here, making me harder, making it so it's harder for me to shoot them. Yes, also not very nice, but, uh... I'm sure we'll find an easier way to eliminate them, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and head up here before I start drowning. Would also be pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's go see what this level has in store for me. Maybe probably some more unpleasant surprises, I'd imagine. So let's go ahead and proceed with caution. Watch out for those said unpleasant surprises. You never know when they're gonna try and ambush me. And damn it, I wanted to get that stuff up there. Okay, come on, grab the stuff. Or is there, was there anything up here at all? No, it appears that there was not. Just uh, another switch over here with a bit of health. Oh well. I'll take what I can get, I suppose. Just open this gate up. I do like the, I've seen uh, four of these nice cool designs with these long ass hallways. I kind of like how they had these light sources with these little flames hung up on the ceiling here. It does add a little bit of extra character with these rooms, I will say. But, uh, oh, looks like we got some more company here. Yes, we can eliminate more enemies, including you up there, uh, Ogresh Ogres. Yes, they're not very nice ogres. Always trying to blow you up. Yes. Making a buck. <laughs> That's very good. And, ah, uh, okay, I see. That's what uh, needs the silver key. Okay. As well as that door down there. You need the gold. It's the gold small key. Okay. Uh, just uh, watch out for these guys here. Oh, crap. Yeah, no, don't let them get too close. Just to blow them up into nice little meaty chunks like that. And we're all good. But, uh, oh damn, this does not look so friendly here. Looks like we've got some 
swinging axes, or very bloody swinging axes at that, swinging back and forth. I will say, a, they are coming up with newer neat ideas with some traps here, especially with these uh, swinging axes, but let's be sure to avoid them the best we can as we get chopped in half trying to run down these hallways. But it is, uh, again, it is nice seeing them uh, innovate with new trap designs as we move along with these new level designs as well. Pretty good. Alright, it's you eliminated, but oh, hello. Hello there, Hunger. I saw you teleport behind me. Right, right before I um, was about to look away to uh, the crafty bastards. Uh, but let's go ahead and go in here and take you guys, and we're going to save. Yes. Just to be on the safe side. Save our game. Looks like we got to open these bars elsewhere, it says. Alrighty then, fair enough. Looks like they opened up, or, up for us already. Ah, very nice. Yes. Also very nice there, giving us a good help supply of rockets. Uh, would uh, also be helpful to get an explosive weapon, but uh, alas, not quite yet, it seems. So we're just gonna go through here. To another ogre smoker. Oh, yeah, maybe he's gonna try and get his uh, tricky trick shots through the bars here. Order through the bars. Get this guy. Shoot him through the bars. Return the favor. Yeah, you thought you were the only one who could shoot through bars? So I think again. And we'll eliminate your friends while we're at it. Okay, let's see. It's, it's you. Now we're just gonna get this guy around the corner. Pop around the corner and get him. Yeah, get his ass. Get him. Yeah. Another one down for the counts. As well as you, good sir. You can go ahead and die now as well. Alright. Another door that opens elsewhere. Now we have to use this uh, new, new found sort of lava ammo sparing. Looks like they're giving us a whole lot of switch. So yeah, just, uh, just uh, keep that in mind for sure. Watch out for the ammo. Let's also watch out for this platforming here. We should be good. And yep, we are good to go. Excellent. Whoa, hello. Hello, guys. Hello, how are you doing? Very nice of you to see you try and get me around this corner. And oh, yeah, uh, uh, settle down there, boy. Settle down. Get along, little doggy. Get along. And oh, damn. He tried to crush me. Those crafty bastards had to get with their traps. Okay, let's see if we can hit this switch on the wall. Or, uh, yeah, and those bars. Very nice. So let's go ahead and make our way towards those that open area then, I suppose. Uh, but not before getting this secret, of course. And I totally just stumbled upon. Very nice. Okay. To you guys, get some more ammo, and giving me some more rockets, which is always good. But yeah, so far, so good. Just gotta keep our head down and, and oh, <laughs> and not be silly like that. We should be good. Oh, hello there, Ogre. So, okay, we have to be careful to make this jump again. Okay, on this lava. Let's see if we can, if we're gonna kill the Ogre first. Just in case. Okay, jump on you. Oh god, don't fall. Don't fall into the deadly lava. That would uh, really not be good. And hey, there we go. We got ourselves the grenade launcher finally. Now we can really blow their asses up. Especially with all the ammo we got. And uh, oh, what's this here? Multi rockets, huh? Okay, that's interesting. Let's go and see just what they mean by that. Over there and ah, okay. So let's let me turn it into a cluster bomb. But oh god, what the hell is that? What is a uh, <laughs> floating swords? What well, what is this? Chronicles of Narnia or something? Lord of the Rings? Like what? What's going on? Okay, well that's new. 
Uh, I'm assuming, judging by all these floating swords, that they're actually invisible elite black knights, or invisible regular black knights, rather. Either way, a pretty cool addition to the enemy monster, monster here. Very good. I knew we were already going to start seeing some new foes, which is always good. Eliminate these ogres now. Yes, no, get out of my way. Fools. Oh god, it's a shambler. Okay, well, we're gonna use our cluster grenades. I wonder if shooting at them directly will do any more damage, but uh, I guess not. I guess we'll just use our regular rocket launcher, or, or grenade launcher, rather. Oh god, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. Yes. Already throwing shamblers at me, I see. I see. Yes, how very not nice of them. But, you know, I guess it is a new expansion with new stuff to be discovered, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's more or less to be expected with throwing the, starting to throw the big guys at me already. Yes, yes. We're going to get this held and then we're going to save right here, just in case. Make another little save state. Very nice. And now proceed. This gold key door should be right around the corner here, and yep, there it is. Uh, not before saying hello to Mr. Shambler again. We're going to use our grenade launcher for dealing with him. Since we do have a lot of explosive ammo in order to do it. And oh shit, he might actually... Might actually kill me over here. Oh god, no, get away. Oh shit. Oh, that wasn't very good, but we're still alive. Yes. Still alive and still kicking. Now, I kind of want to go and get that armor and backtrack real quick, so bear with me, folks. This will only take a minute, hopefully. Hopefully less than that, really. But, uh, oh god, yeah, watch out for the swinging axes of death. Bloody swinging axes of death, that is. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a suit of body armor up here somewhere. And no, no, ah, oh, damn it. Well, that's what I get for trying to go back for that body armor. Thankfully for us, we did save, so we can just start it back here. You know what? We should be able to uh, kill this shambler from up here. Get these nice trick shots of the grenade launcher, but something tells me that that's not going to happen. At least not without uh, us burning through a lot of our explosive ammunition. So, or maybe it, maybe it could work. It could work actually. We got to seem to have a good angle on him right here. Come on. Well, that worked too. What do you know? Alrighty, well, that's that done, and we're actually going to end it off much better than we were before, so let's go ahead and save it again. Very nice. And open you up. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're just going to let that blow itself up. And we should be good. It's alright. Well, that's that level completed. Almost got all the monsters, but uh, who cares? We're not trying to go for 100%, we're just trying to survive. But anyways, with that being said, I think that's pretty much all the time to, uh, that we got for this video here. Ending it off on the third level, the Judgment Call, which we're going to have to continue in the next video. So before we end it off, we'll be sure to save it up. Save it up on you, and save on you as well, the backup. So yeah, so far pretty interesting and pretty cool. I already got ourselves some new toys that we are going to be playing around with with these new sort of weapon variants to our existing weapons that use a special type of ammunition, which is pretty cool, as well as already getting introduced to some new monsters and some new trap designs as well. Yes, very cool. But we're going to have to end it off here as, uh, yeah, we're a little short for time now. So yeah. So, with that being said, thank you so much everyone for watching. If you liked the video as well as the elements I upload on here, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I upload videos almost every day, so be sure to hit that bell and get those CC notifications. Be sure to stay tuned for next time. we get to some more Let's Play Quake, the Disillusion of Eternity expansion. Yes. So, I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing what else this expansion has in store for us, as well as being looking forward to watching you guys, or seeing you guys watching me play through it for the first time as well. So, with that being said, finally, the Sender Point 77 signing off. And as always, take care, everyone.
Goodbye.